Hi everybody, Elin here with another book review. I've actually started to get pretty darn good about recording them, so kudos to me. Anyways, today I'm going to talk about When Dimple Met Rishi by Sundara Menon. I have no idea if I said that right. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> Anyways, this book is about two Indian teenagers and in the culture it's sort of um, usual that um, their parents fix up who they're supposed to marry and with Dimple she just want to go to this um, summer camp for web programmers or something like that and she's just really focused on her future because she's supposed to go to Stanford and she thinks this summer camp will be really good for her to go on um, before she goes to Stanford and yeah that's really her passion and then we have Rishi who is very He's very stuck on, you know, doing everything his parents want and he wants to keep the traditions and the fact that his parents like decide who's supposed to marry and everything. So he's definitely on this uh, tr right train, so to speak. And he really does want to get married. Um, and he's all for the fixed arranged marriage. And he goes to this summer camp um, to meet Dimple, who is his meant to be bride even though not planning to marry anytime soon because they're still very young um but yeah that's pretty much in short explanations what the book is about and i know this book has gotten a shitload of hype both on booktube and bookstagram and everything like that and yeah i thought i would tell you guys a little bit what i thought about this book and this is Menon's uh, debut, and I know she has another one, another book planned for 2018, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, but anyways, this book was very, very well written. Um, it has very nice flow to through the text, and you like immediately get very committed, and you really like the characters like right away, and. When Dimple and Rishi, I'm not going to spoil anything, I promise, but when they first meet, um, it's so freaking hilarious and it made me definitely laugh out loud, so I'm happy I was reading it at home, or otherwise it could be awkward. Um, anyways, it's such a good, fluffy and funny read, and it definitely has those characters that you fall for, like, instantly, because... Dimple, she is sort of sure in herself. She hasn't really had a, um, an easy life because her peers hasn't always been treating her very well because they always um, saw her as this geeky, nerdy, weird girl. Um, but she is very sure of herself. She's really good at this web designing thing, and she has her future like decided all ahead of her because she knows what she wants to do with her life and then we have Rishi who is just the most adorable guy ever and I promise you he will probably be at least on the list of uh, book boyfriends for a lot of people I believe because he's like perfect for the book loving type so yeah I definitely think I have to put him on my list because he's freaking adorable and these two characters they're so different from each other uh, but they still have this amazing chemistry even in the beginning when they don't really like each other um, but they're so cute and Dimple is so sarcastic and very like headstrong and she does not sugarcoat anything she thinks about anybody um, but she does try to keep it to herself because she thinks that's um, better. But then we have Rishi and he's really he's really outspoken. He doesn't really like... I mean, Dimple tells people she knows well what she thinks about other people. But Rishi, when someone is not treating his friends or whatever um, in a good way, then he'll definitely like lash back at them. And it's so funny because she has, like, what do you say, it's like a really quick tongue or something like that. And it's hilarious. And this book was so freaking good, if you haven't understand that, or my freaking Bible I have done right about now. Um, 
but it's so well written and I like the fact that we do get to um, follow these kids, not kids but teenagers, um, on this summer camp and you get to be a part of that when they're supposed to develop some kind of app or something like that and they're able to meet um, Jenny Lind or something like that I think your name was, uh, which is this big um, web developer person um, and that is of course Dimple's um, like um, favorite person I don't want to say but she really looks up to her and she wants to meet her and everything and it's just so freaking funny this book and I just I love all the like components and how they match together and it's not like it's not that unpredictable I mean it is so so very it's a it is a contemporary with a love story and everything but it still definitely have elements that you didn't um, you weren't able to like figure out beforehand and it's such a quick read and I actually but read this um, book together with Jamie and I will leave her information down below but I definitely definitely love this book so so much and I gave it four out of five stars and when I say four stars it's a very strong four stars um, and I was definitely definitely happy that I read this book and I cannot and I rather enough, I cannot wait until Sanaya Menon um, releases her next book, which is supposed to be Twinkle something. I don't know. The main character is supposed to be Twinkle, and it's got Twinkle in the title or something like that. Anyways, I cannot. Ah, it needs to be 2018 right now. Just saying. Anyways, those were all the little opinions I have about this book. It might be a lot of babble. I don't really know. Um, but if you have read this book, um, no matter if you liked it or not, please let me know down below in the comments because I want to know what you thought about it. But like I said, I really, really liked it and I would love to hear your opinions. And yeah, if you like this video, I hope you want to give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which you can do by clicking the little button down below. And yeah, because I do upload three times a week and... You don't want to miss out on that. I hope it lasts. Anyways, we'll see, I hope we'll see each other next time. Bye.